Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Demi Asensio. And I'm Ashley Reyes. Parents in Sarasota are fighting to teach about the Black Lives Matter movement in schools. Reporter James Birmingham shows us the video at the center of a new debate. Dear Nat and Moby, why are so many people protesting about racism? I thought we fixed all that stuff a long time ago. The video discusses the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Trayvon Martin. I wanted to voice my strong support for keeping Brain Pop as an important supplemental educational tool for our children. At last night's school board meeting, more than 100 parents argued over whether their kids should learn about the Black Lives Matter movement in school. I agree that the goal here should be unity and not division. Reporting for Florida Focus, my name is James Birmingham. Experts from Tampa General Hospital and USF Medical School are meeting with the Florida Senate today. The goal is to reduce the risk of senators infecting one another with coronavirus. The team has been in charge of setting up similar plans across the Tampa Bay area. The plan may include banning hand dryers in bathrooms, limiting the number of people on elevators, and requiring masks. Nationwide, 18 lawmakers have tested positive for COVID-19. A new mural project in St. Pete is turning information about voting into an interactive display. Reporter Cheyenne Pagan shows us how it works. By scanning the paint with your phone, you can access voting resources instantly. The League of Women Voters in St. Pete commissioned the artwork titled Diversity and Democracy. They hope to empower the people's vote with this technology by providing information to help voters. We wanted to just show that no matter who you are, who you love, what you look like, how you express your gender, you have the right to vote. You can download the free Pixel Sticks app to try it out. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Cheyenne Pagan. There are more than 4,000 black bears in Florida. Now the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is releasing a virtual bear school to teach people how to interact with Florida's largest predator. Sort of makes sense why of the 6,000 calls we get every year, a full third of them are specifically reporting bears getting the garbage. And that's because garbage has a pretty good scent and bears can smell things over a mile away. You can learn more about black bears at myfwc.com. Thank you for watching Florida Focus. Have a nice evening.